Hey Capricorn, I'm here to do your reading. If you have a Capricorn placement, tap in. Capricorn, let's see what's going on. So you have dreams, and then you have discrimination, empathy, and then you have philosophy. I feel you could be dreaming, or you could be trying to um, manifest. I'm getting something about your dreams here are coming into fruition. Yeah, corrupt, unethical cult. And then you have controlling, drama, conflict of interest. So I feel like you could be uh, fighting for something here. I feel like you're you're getting comfortable. I feel like your dreams need a practical plan. I'm getting you need to be practical about what you're going through. I'm also getting something about a conflict of interest or some something that's very corrupt. Someone could be dealing with someone who uh, is on the down low. Someone could be dealing with another race. So I'm getting, there's a situation here where someone's dealing with a conflict of interest. Someone's dealing with another group. I'm also getting two ways. So I'm getting, um, bisexual or I'm getting something to do with like an open road you could be deeming this as uh, as a uh, corrupt you could be deeming this as drama I feel you're viewing someone here in a different way This could be you or someone else. Someone could be viewing you as uh, discriminatory. Someone could feel that you're discriminating against them. Someone could feel that you're discriminating against them. What is this? Yeah, seasons, and then you have wounded healer. So I'm getting something about ancestors here, grounding. You could be dealing with another earth sign. I'm getting, uh, you could be dealing with the Leo, or you could be dealing with someone who's pregnant. I feel someone sitting on something. I'm getting time. I'm getting time will tell. I'm also getting, um, <laughs> this is really weird. I'm getting something to do with pussy. <laughs> I'm getting pussy. <laughs> I'm getting something to do with pussy. <laughs> this could be really weird. I don't know. I'm getting pussy. I feel that could be significant to you. Like a cat or <laughs> like a cat or an actual vagina here. Something like that. Let's see what comes out for you, Capricorn. So the star. And then you have the magician. So I feel you could be manifesting something here. I feel you could be very comfortable in your position. Many of you could work in the hospital. So many of you could be uh, healers of some sort. I see you doing something with your healing work and your stability. Many of you may be coming into new stability. You have the Six of Wands. And you have the King of Wands, King of Pentacles. I feel you desire <laughs> comfortability or you desire something here. Many of you could be... Um, Trying to figure out the truth when it comes to a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. I'm also getting um, yourself. You could be very determined when it comes to uh, your comfortability and what you're trying to do when it comes to self. King of Pentacles energy. I'm also getting something to do with the truth and justice. You could feel stuck when it comes to the truth. I'm getting be very ideal. Be very practical. What is this? Yeah, the Nine of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm getting something about um, anxiety. This could be surrounding your finances or your business or your overall comfortability. Or you could be dealing with the Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. You know, the Hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo here. I'm getting something about uh, introspection. Someone can see you or someone can see what you're manifesting or what you're doing. Something like that. What is this? 
you know, the Five of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. Someone sees exactly what you're doing here. They know what you're doing. They see what you're doing. All of that. What is this? <laughs> yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the, an Earth sign. Heavy Earth energy. I'm getting motive. Someone has motive here when it comes to you. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. And then you have the Hierophant. So I'm getting someone is committed to you. If you're wondering if someone is committed to you, I'm getting they are. Seven of Pentacles, the Temperance, the world. I'm getting someone does not tolerate deception or they don't tolerate disrespect. I'm also getting teachings. So this person could be teaching you or you could be teaching this person. I feel like uh, an offer is being made. Someone, someone is going to give you information. I'm getting to help you change the wheel of fortune. Someone's going to give you a valuable piece of information. Ten of Pentacles, maybe when it comes to your stability or your spiritual wisdom and knowledge. Yeah, the judgment card. You could be being judged by family, by your lineage because of this. I'm also getting, um, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I'm also getting emotional rede redemption. I feel you could be trying to redeem yourself emotionally here when it comes to uh, family or when it comes to exchanging. I'm also getting something about Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. They could be very discontent with you. I'm getting judging you. Someone's judging you here. You have the Knight of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. And then you have the Knight of Swords. This could be a work situation. I'm getting a water sign is judging you heavy behind your recklessness or flightiness. I'm getting you're very flighty when it comes to someone. Or you're very compulsive. Or this is someone else. I feel you could be uh, speaking to someone who's very flighty. I'm getting someone just gets up and leaves. Someone just gets up and like go. This could be you or someone else. You have the five of wands. The four of wands. And then you have the uh, five of cups here with the nine of cups underneath the deck. I'm getting wishes granted. I feel there could be conflict in a relationship. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Yeah, the lovers. This could be a soulmate energy with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Four of Swords. And then you have the Emperor. I see you taking control over your relationship. I'm also getting something about uh, love. You want to offer someone some something genuine. I feel this could be coming from you or someone else. But there's conflict around it. I'm getting healing. I feel you. I feel you could uh, want to rectify a soulmate energy. Could be dealing with an Aries. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords and the Strength card with the Ace of Wands. I see you taking action towards someone. This could be a, a Leo, or I'm getting you're very loyal to this person. It could be a Virgo here. I'm also getting independence. I feel you could be very loyal to yourself or to your independence. Nine of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus. I'm also getting something about material. I see you taking action towards uh, material things. Or you're trying to change. Maybe your means of income or your sources of income. I see them changing significantly. I get, um, I get like comfortability within those things or within your job. Something like that. Yeah, collaborate. You have rebirth. Then you have heal. You have community underneath the deck. So I'm getting something here. <laughs> something here requires healing. So I'm getting you want to collab with someone. But that could require healing. I'm also getting a, a restart or a rebirth that requires healing. <laughs> I feel you could be healing yourself. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I'm also getting something about balancing out or taking it e taking it easy. Yeah, trust. So I'm getting trust in this situation or trust in this person. I'm getting trust is here. 
you could be wondering if you, you know, if you could trust this person or you could trust someone with your business. I feel you could get more information. I'm getting you could be confused. Eight of Swords as to a topic or a subject. You know, within the next few weeks, you have unlikely an ex for help from others. So I feel like something will be happening uh, in the next few weeks. I'm getting something very significant. I'm getting something about getting more information here. So I feel like you don't have the full story or something is just not true or unlikely. I feel like trust is there. Could be a commitment of some sort with the Hierophant. I feel you're committed to this person or this person is committed to you. You have perfect timing with the King and Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting the perfect timing or something happened at the perfect time. Yeah, a win-win outcome is in forecast. Look at the bigger picture, and it's time to take action. Believe in the impossible underneath the deck. So I feel like you're trying to take action towards someone, or someone's trying to take action towards you. I feel there's a lot of anxiety surrounding this, though. Someone could be judging you. For something that you said to them, Capricorn. This is what I'm getting for you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box so y'all can book that personal reading. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at I am Keon. All right, Capricorn, I'll see you in the next video.